Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is just a short flight video to demonstrate the auto tilt cam that I installed on my racing quad. Now, whenever I lean forwards, instead of looking at the ground, the camera is going to auto level and go up a little bit and adjust to the angle accordingly. I ran the servo out of the spare channel 6 port in the back of the uh, CC3D board. I had to, of course, reconfigure the whole thing because the factory settings weren't set up the way I needed, but now this is just my preference because I don't like when I'm fl flying back to home, I don't like looking up at the sky or the trees. I'm afraid I'm going to fly into myself by accident. It is a lot more handy to be looking straight no matter which orientation it is, leaning forwards or leaning back. Now I don't have it on a roll, so as you notice, when I'm rolling, it still rolls to the left or to the right, so that way I can tell my orientation. That I definitely would not want to change. That would definitely mess with me. But what a huge difference. Man, no longer looking at the ground when I'm down close and blasting the throttle. I'm actually looking where I'm going. See right here. Whoa! That was close. Now I took the goggles off because it was so darn hot. It was They were just fogging up no matter what. I need to install a cooling fan to them. The little straw method is not working for the really hot days. Right here, I pretty much blasted it about 45 degrees forwards and the camera looks straight no matter what. Perfect. It is definitely a nice feature to have the ground control station on the laptop so I can tweak and fine tune everything on this quad. Lean back. Lean forwards. And then coming into stop, lean back, and the camera stays straight. Perfect. Now I highly recommend when selecting a servo for the auto tilt, you want to make sure you select a servo that does not have a lot of play between the gears. That will cause a lot of jello in the video. I have the Mobius lens extension move away from the camera out, so flopping out in the air like that, I had a lot of jello and my first servo that I picked was definitely the wrong choice. I swapped that servo out for one with tighter gears and eliminated all the jello. Thanks for watching and happy flying to you all.